This is my Ninja Creamy, and I've been using it just about every single night over the past couple months, making some high protein, low calorie, super tasty ice cream. And I wanna show you exactly how to do some of my favorite recipes in today's video. So that's the plan. Go ahead, do me a favor right now, press that thumbs up button down below, get it out of the way with, and let's get into these recipes. So there are a million different ways to do this. This is just my favorite way, and it's also, I think, one of the most simplest ways I've seen over all of the internet. Now, for all of your actual creamy ice cream style recipes that we're gonna be making tonight, super simple, only three ingredients as your base. Those three main ingredients are some sort of milk, your protein of choice, and some sugar-free, fat-free jello. By the way, it's recommended you use only the Ninja Creamy brand containers, and uh, I only have three of them, and trying to order some on Amazon right now takes literally over a month to get, so we're gonna be making three recipes at a time. And first up, high protein, creamy, strawberry cheesecake ice cream. So you're gonna use about 350 milliliters of your Fairlife fat-free milk. Then you're gonna to wanna to add about 10 grams of sugar-free, fat-free cheesecake jello mix. And then one and a half scoops of whatever your favorite protein powder is. I'm using the French vanilla from Transparent Labs for this recipe. And that comes out to right about 45 grams. Next, you can go ahead and give it a quick blend. Uh, this is like a milk frother I got off of Amazon, but you can use whatever you want to blend it up. All right, and that's quite literally it. You can put the lid on this and put it in the freezer for 12 to 24 hours. The next recipe is gonna be a double chocolate Reese's peanut butter high protein ice cream. We're gonna follow the exact same steps. Do 350 milliliters of our Fairlife milk. And then we're gonna use 10 grams of chocolate fudge, sugar-free, fat-free jello mix. Protein for this one, a chocolate peanut butter from Transparent Labs, their whey isolate. 45 grams of that. Give this one a quick stir. Go ahead and pop the lid on and put it in the freezer for 12 to 24 hours. Up next, peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough high protein ice cream. Same steps here, we're gonna do 350 grams of milk, 10 grams of the vanilla sugar-free fat-free jello, and for protein, vanilla peanut butter from Transparent Labs. Once again, 45 grams of that. Go ahead and blend that up. Put the lid on, let it freeze for 12, 24 hours. Many unbearable hours later. All right, 24 hours has passed. And the nice thing about all of these recipes is it is the exact same steps. So you're going to one, let it sit out for a couple minutes or you can run it under some hot water real quick. Then simply put it into your Ninja Creamy. Since we're making an ice cream with it, we're gonna be putting on the light ice cream setting. We're gonna let it run one time all the way through. After spin one, it's gonna be a little crumbly and not quite ready. You can spin it again without adding liquid, but I found it much easier just to add about two tablespoons or so of milk and then put it on respin. And after that second spin, we are sitting very, very pretty and almost the perfect consistency. And this is where things get shaken up a little bit for each one separately. And for our strawberry cheesecake, you probably guessed one of them for sure. We're gonna be adding some diced fresh strawberries into the mix. This is just two strawberries that's diced up. And for our crust flavoring, we're gonna be using some graham crackers. Two of these sheets is only 130 calories. I'm just gonna use one. We'll go ahead and run it one more time on the mix-in setting. And with everything blended up, we have our beautifully fruity, creamy, delicious cheesecake strawberry ice cream. And this is how we're looking after our second spin of the double chocolate. Beautiful, thick, creamy consistency. Now to make these Reese's, you guessed it, we're gonna use some Reese's. These are actually Reese's Thins and you can use three of them for 170 calories. Three Reese's Thins going into the mix. Last step, all we're gonna do is put it back in there one last time, press the mix-ins button and let it do its thing. And finally, what you're left with, an incredibly creamy and delicious double chocolate Reese's ice cream. This is how our peanut butter vanilla turned out after the second spin. Once again, very, very nice creamy consistency all the way through and we're ready for our mix-ins.
All right, now to make this a vanilla peanut butter cookie uh, we're adding some Chips Ahoy and Chips Ahoy once again with the thins. You get four cookies for 150 calories. I'm just gonna do three cookies because I feel like that's a good amount. Um, and this is gonna add that cookie goodness into our mix. So same thing here, we can just shove them in and we're gonna run this one more time on the mix in setting. And we're left with a beautiful consistency and an aroma of cookie dough and of coarse peanut butter. All right, we have our three creamies right here and they're a little defrosted considering I just made all of them right in a row. Um, but we wanna try them out real quick and uh, tell you our favorite out of the bunch. Starting here with the double chocolate Reese's. Just an all around simple banger. If you like chocolate, if you like peanut butter, this is gonna be your recipe, hands down. You know what that tastes like? Chocolate Frosty. Yes. Pretty much exactly the consistency and flavor of a chocolate Frosty. Very, very good. Onto our peanut butter cookie dough. Mmm. Very, very rich. A lot of peanut butter flavor comes through with that. And I think it's a tweak they made in the protein itself. So I actually probably prefer this one with just vanilla protein, but either way, it turned out absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I don't care for the base. It is too peanut buttery. But as the cookie starts to absorb some of the ice cream, it's like nice and soft and it's really, really good. Now on to our strawberry cheesecake. It is so spot on. <laughs> this is your favorite? Mm -hmm. Double chocolate is my favorite, at least out of these three. And just an idea of calories and macros in each one of these. The Reese's 533 calories, 65 grams of protein. The peanut butter cookie dough, 482 calories, 62 grams of protein. And the strawberry cheesecake, 390 calories, 62 grams of protein. So these are just the first three. We still got a couple more to go. All right, so our first three recipes focus on super high protein. And with that came a little extra calories. Now, in the next three recipes, we're gonna be focusing on low calories, maybe still having a little bit of protein in there, but bringing the calories lower where you get like two, 300 calories per pint. That sounds incredible. Let's get into it. First up, we are gonna be making our double chocolate s'mores ice cream and to lower the calories we're going to be using a core power fair life protein shake the entire thing is 26 calories 7 170 grams of protein and as we pour it in it just about goes straight up to the line we are still going to add the 10 grams of chocolate fudge sugar-free jello in there and just like that you're done you can go ahead and stir it up Toss it in the freezer for 24 hours. So you're craving something fruity and tropical. Let me show you how to make the pineapple mango sorbet. And this one is super simple. We're just gonna do it with canned fruit. So we're gonna use about half a can of each of these, but you do wanna strain about 80% of the liquid before you put the fruit in. So I did about 200 grams of pineapple chunks and about 200 grams of diced mangoes. Then you can go ahead and use the remaining liquid to fill your container up to the max fill line. And just like that, you're ready to toss this in the freezer for 24 hours. So with summertime right around the corner, what sounds better than watermelon strawberry ice cream or sorbet? And that's what we're gonna be making right now. And we're gonna be doing it with fresh ingredients. So a big difference here, I have a container of watermelons. I'm gonna go ahead and toss them all in to the container until it's just about filled up. Now here's where the extra step comes in. We're gonna be using an emulsifier. So I just picked this up off of Amazon, has two settings, pretty simple to use. And as you put it in, you turn it on and it pretty much juices it all down. So what this allows you to do is get more of everything into the container so that way your flavor is gonna be more intense. And with your fresh strawberries, the flavor is a lot more strong, so you don't need as much of them. But you can go ahead, follow the same process, and emulsify that up. It's also recommended that you use a bigger container than what you're gonna put it in because sometimes you tend to spill. Either way, we can go ahead and put the lid on and put this in the freezer for 24 hours. Several days later. All right, 24 hours has passed. 
let's start making the next batch of creamies. All right, so first up we have our s'mores. You can kind of see how there's like a lump in this. So I just try and flatten this out as much as possible before I put it in the creamy, but we're gonna put this on the white ice cream setting as well. All right, same as the other ones, it has that like crumbliness to it. I'm gonna scoop a little bit out, but instead of adding milk, I'm gonna add this s'more syrup, sugar-free. I've actually never used this before, so this is a new part of the recipe, but it smells pretty good, and I feel like it'll be a good addition to this. Just put a little bit in there, and now we can go ahead and put this on respin. All right, and that turned out absolutely beautifully. So we have that really nice, thick ice cream consistency. And for our mix-ins, I'm sure you know what's coming back. We're gonna use one graham cracker, and then we're gonna add some Jet Puffed. Uh, it's only 45 calories per two tablespoons. All right, so I went ahead and shoved that right in the middle. Now we're gonna run it one more time on the mix-in setting, and you're left with, well, it looks exactly the same, but this stuff is mixed up in there. All right, up next we have our pineapple mango. Super simple on this one. All we're gonna do is put it in and put it on the sorbet setting. Let it run through. All right, one time through looks like this. Really, really pretty. Um, if you have orange juice, feel free to add a little bit. I don't, so I'm just gonna run it again on the sorbet setting. And two times through, that is the perfect consistency. Just so you get an idea of what I'm talking about, look at that consistency. And last, but certainly not least, are a watermelon strawberry. Same thing here, gonna put it on sorbet setting two times through. Once again, you're left with this like beautiful sorbet style consistency. All right, so we have three lower calorie versions right here. Super low for some of these. I'll get into calories in just a sec. Um, first things first, let's start with the s'mores. I decorated it a little bit, but regardless of that, how does it taste? It's melted slightly just from sitting, but that is probably some of the most authentic s'mores tasting ice cream I've ever had. I do think the syrup was a good add. I think it added a lot of that perfect flavor. Good thing I didn't add any more or I think it would have been a little overpowering. But the ice cream, the consistency is really good. The chocolate flavor is very good as well. And that little bit of graham cracker with the marshmallow just makes it extremely well-rounded and a very true s'mores flavor. But when it comes to macros and calories, we're sitting at like almost half the calories of those other, other ice creams, the exact same amount of volume and really, really solid flavor. You're not getting as much protein, but you're still getting 27, almost 28 grams of protein in one single pint of ice cream. That's gonna be really, really filling and extremely sweet and satisfying to have for a late night dessert or snack. So very happy with how this turned out. Now let's move into our sorbets. Um, definitely a different style of dessert. You definitely get a little more of like a bitter, sweet and sour type of sorbet instead of like a creamy style ice cream. But as far as sorbets go, I couldn't ask for anything better looking than that. Hmm. That flavor is so, so delicious. Yeah, it does not need any extra sweetener, at least in my opinion. Um, but also don't get the low sugar versions of canned fruit because I've tried that with peaches and it was kind of lacking. So just get the full sugar stuff. I promise it's worth it. You don't need to add anything else. Extremely simple. And I didn't even use the emulsifier like I did with this one because there's just so much flavor in the fruit already. And with that awesome, awesome calories, 240 calories for the entire pint. That's extremely hard to beat for a whole pint of sorbet or ice cream, creamy, whatever you wanna call it. Macros on point, obviously there's not gonna be any protein in it, two grams is like nothing. But for a nice, sweet, fruity treat, I don't know, that one's gonna be hard to beat. But we'll see how it compares to our watermelon strawberry creamy. This one just, it smells fresh. Like it smells like I used real fresh fruit, which I did. Definitely a little more on the icy side. Let's give it a bite. I mean, that's really, really good. This one, I think you maybe could have added a little sweetener. I personally wouldn't, but for some people, I think it might not be quite sweet enough. I love the flavor of this though. It's extremely clean. It, it doesn't have any added sugars in it other than the sugar that comes naturally from the fruit. 
love that about it. I do think you do have to use an emulsifier or some kind of blending to get enough volume of watermelon down into this size of a pint. But when you do so, the end result is incredible. So two ingredients in this only, not much prep time, amazing flavor, and for 175 calories. That's insane. That is insane. So I think out of this bunch right here, I'd probably go like this as one, two, and three best. But honestly, they're all insanely delicious. So you have your high protein options, you have your lower calorie options, and there's so, so many more recipes, probably millions to be made with the Ninja Creamy. Let me know what your favorite one was down below in the comments. Let me know if you have any suggestions for more for me to try out, but I'm gonna keep making these and having some low calorie, high protein desserts about every single night of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, press the thumbs up button, please. And I will be seeing you shortly in the next one.